Medical professionals owe their patients a duty of care. But cases of medical negligence in Nigeria are becoming quite common, prompting aggrieved persons to seek redress in court. Kemi Foladeyemo tells us more. The healthcare system in Nigeria is fraught with many challenges, ranging from infrastructure, funding and the like. But also of concern is medical negligence or cases of human error where many Nigerians are affected and thronging the courts now for compensation. One of them is Oyikosola Oladipupo. In 2017, Oyikosola went to Budo Specialist Hospital in Aja to deliver her second child through a cesarean section. What was to be a simple procedure ended up as an ordeal she's still suffering from. I spent 46 days in the hospital. She and says the anesthesia pricked her spine for up to 13 times in a bid to deaden her spine ahead of the procedure. The from then till date, so from my right breast to my feet, I cannot feel pain, I cannot feel temperature, and I had a massive foot drop right immediately after the surgery. The 34-year-old says the failure to administer a drug to stop the swelling of her leg also affected her lungs and she was on oxygen for days. She was eventually discharged but returned not long after due to a foul odor from her private part. The relief I realized that there was gauze in my uterus, probably hanging in the cervix. So when he saw it, he was just shaking his head, shaking his head, and he told me to lie down. He said he can't take me back to the theater because of what I have gone through. So he, like, they dilated me, and he dipped his fist, his hand, I was looking for. In, <laughs> the pain was, I don't want to remember that kind of experience. And what he brought out was like a big gauze that was only turning black. Oyekosala is thankful to be alive after such an experience and is seeking justice. This has changed so many things. It has affected family, affected career, my marriage. Um, I'm thankful because God gave me a very supportive husband. Affected so many things, raising of my children, so many things are at stake. Mediation between the parties failed after she rejected a 500,000 naira offer from the hospital's management. Oyiko says she requires much more than that to be fully restored. Her lawyer from the chambers of Festus Kiamo says her initial claim of 100 million naira as damages will now be amended. Because she had actually informed me of um, uh, new results showing that her incapacitation is actually permanent at this level. So in view of that, um, the amendment is actually very needed in view of test results coming in from several hospitals in which she has been spending money on. But the, even at that, the defendant is still at liberty to settle the matter. We are still open for settlement at this stage. The defendants deny any liability, and the case continues on May the 4th. Kemi Foladeyemo, TVC News, Lagos.